<laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate well, it. We were talking yes. a little bit about your story. You have 500,000 views yeah. or more yeah. on a video that yeah. you did in partnership with somebody who is a huge yeah. TikTok yeah. influencer. Yeah. But before we get there, yeah. let's talk let's about... Bring it, let's bring it back. Let's, let's bring, bring it, it back. back Absolutely. You know? so, yeah. so where did your journey to TikTok fame begin? I think that the cross Canada road trip is a thing that so many people dream about. And I was graduating university coming up in May. So I was like, this is the perfect opportunity for me to really experience the vast landscapes that Canada has. Yeah. And so your parents are like yeah. super cool with this. What did they yeah, do so, so, to so, help you out? Yeah. So my, my dad was, was always super on board with, with kind of the idea of, of me kind of just enjoying myself, especially after university, you know, um, after university, I was, I was like, wow, university was such, was such a, such an intense time, you know, just so much going on, especially mm -hmm. with COVID and, and, and online classes. It was like, wow, I really need to, to get out of, of, of just sitting around being on my computer all day. So my dad was super helpful, you know, helped me build the, um, the bed in the back of my car. And yeah, it was, it was a great opportunity. But he also gave you something. He also did give me something. So <laughs> he was like, you know what, for peace of mind, I want to make sure that, that if anything does happen while you're on the road, I really want to ensure that, that, that you have the, the best opportunity to, to stay safe and to, and to get something fixed if anything does occur. So he did get me a CAA membership and that was kind of like my first introduction to CAA was when he gave me that card right after I graduated. And I was kind of like really grateful for that opportunity just because, you know, it was, it was a peace of mind for me as well, just in case if I knew if anything happened while I was on the road, I always had CAA to count on. So while you're thinking about, you know, things that happen on yeah, the road, yeah. um, you know, I would definitely want to know highlight, low light. <laughs> um, the really cool thing about that was that there's such a cool community out there of people that, that live on the road, you know, hashtag van life, as you said. Um, there was, it was very comforting because every place that I would stay at, um, there would be at least like two or three other people staying there. It was such a cool community that I was very unaware of and I was super grateful for how welcoming and, sure. and, and everybody was. Yeah. Had you seen the mountains so up close and personal no, before? No, no. That was, that was my first time. Driving towards them was, was incredible. You know, I, I have such an appreciation for the prairies, but seeing the mountains in the distance, I was like, whoa, this is something I've never experienced before. It was, it was very cool. And I went to Lake Louise and, you know, I'd, I'd seen the pictures, you know, when you Google images Canada, that's usually the first thing that yeah. shows up and just seeing that water and being like, wow, it actually is that blue. There's, there's no Photoshop involved. That was, that was a crazy experience just to just to see that live. It was beautiful. So yeah. you find yourself uh, yeah. teaching surfing. Surfing. Yeah. Had you, you you knew so how that, to surf. So that's the thing is that I've 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 surfed in BC a couple of times. Surfed in Hawaii a bit. I was pretty new to surfing, but the cool thing was is that the everybody out there was so welcoming in the surfing community. Um, you know, I learned a lot of different tips, and the cool thing was is that as I was teaching, I was also learning as well. Mm -hmm. So I had all these fresh tips that I learned from other people that I was using for myself that I could help transfer on to the people that I was teaching. You got a degree in marketing yes, and you're yes. like, you know what, I'm just going to bring that forward into yeah, this. So yeah. what did you do to yeah. elevate the profile of yeah. your employer? Exactly. So um, I'm a big user of TikTok um, and I think everybody loves TikTok. Great, great platform to use. And I've been following this guy named Ben on TikTok. So what he likes to do is he likes to go on adventures and um, bring people along with him. And so I saw that he had purchased a wetsuit and in the comments he'd responded to somebody and he said, Hey, um, I'm actually going to Tofino. That's why I bought the wetsuit. I was like, Hmm, I wonder if I can reach out to him and see if we can get him on a surf lesson. So you know, I emailed him. I sent him an email. I said, Hey Ben, my name's Owen. I'm a surf instructor. I'd love to, to get you in the water. Let's, let's figure something out. Then like an hour, boom, he got back to me and he's like, that sounds awesome. Um, let's, let's get something set up. So, um, he ended up coming into the store. We ended up booking him a lesson. And the funny thing is, I didn't even know he was going to make a TikTok. I was just like, oh, I would really like to meet this guy and to, and to get to know him. Because he, he's huge, right? He's huge, yeah. He's, he's got 2.7 million followers or something right. like that. Right, like yeah. I, he got me through the pandemic. Exactly. And, 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 and that was such a, a shared experience that I think a lot of people had. And I was like, I'd love to just reach out to him and talk to him. I'm setting up the boards at the beach and I see him pull his photo and I'm like, oh my God, am I about, am I about to be in a, in a Ben TikTok? It was, and so he set it up. Um, I've never really talked to an influencer before or whatever. So I never knew what that was going to be like, but he was just such a, a, a regular down to earth guy. Um, and then, yeah, we hung, we ended up hanging out after that. You know, um, we went to the brewery together. We went on some hikes together. Um, I actually stayed at his place in Vancouver. So he actually had me stay over. He was just a, such a nice accommodating guy. And then, yeah, it was a great experience working with. And then it blew up. It did. Yeah. That was, <laughs> that was the funny thing is so, so, um, yeah, a lot of people saw it. 
it was funny. People from Auto were sending it to me and being like, what? Like, I just saw you on my For You page. Like, I didn't even have to send it to them as they would end up. And I would keep getting tagged in it being like, oh my God, I know Owen. Like, and it was so funny because people who had done lessons with me previously were also commenting on the video being like, Owen was my teacher too. And, and that was, that was really cool. I've, I've never seen something blow up like that before that, that included me, obviously. So sure. it, was, it was like, wow, this is, the internet is a crazy thing in terms of, of getting recognized. It's cool how, how things can, can just spread like wildfire now. So you had some comments and some <laughs> thirst traps, right? Yes. Uh, in yes. the comments yes. um, and flattering yes. at the same time. Yes. I was like, wow, people, people like the way I look. So I was, I was very happy that, that, people, that people enjoyed <laughs> the video and then myself. So no complaints there, absolutely. Just seeing how an influencer can affect um, like a small company is, is really cool. And then how it can help them out is really cool. And now I'm here working at CAA. I think that um, this is a very exciting time for CAA. I'm working in the rewards program. Um, and I think that there's so much room to just expand and grow. And I'm really excited to, to get tasked with that and to, to start working here. It's, it's, been, it's been really welcoming so far. And, and I'm very excited to, to see where this takes me.